Hello and welcome back everyone. And fourth year with even more Star Wars The Old Republic. Playing as Fade, our Imperial agent here on the world of Taris. As you can see, we've had somewhat of a makeover. As we discussed at the end of the last part, we are going to try and achieve the best of both worlds. We are going to try and disguise our activities while we while working alongside imperial interests. Therefore, we are wearing obviously we've disguised most of our facial features. This armor is somewhat slapped together, but it is somewhat more heavily armored than what we're commonly used to wearing. It does restrict our mobility ever so slightly. Well, I imagine it would anyway. In game, doesn't matter. But obviously the all this heavy plating um, may cast some doubts with the Republic SIS, whether or not we are the Imperial asset in the area aiding the Imperials and pushing back the Republic. At least that is my hope. Yes, we are likely to be identified as a Chiss, but surely we're not the only Chiss operative in the area. And of course we can switch our outfits once we are ready to investigate Dr. Gadera's lab. In addition, We'll likely send for Kaleo, as Kaleo was our companion when we were meeting with the team on Nar Shaddaa. They may not know much about Vector, therefore we can of course use Vector while pursuing more Imperial aligned interests. At least that's the ideas I've kind of came up with. Hopefully you all agree, <laughs> but um, yeah we'll give it a shot. Uh, quickly check my inventory. That's all looking good. So. We're also we're trying to push back. The Republic Commander Com Order. To be able to reach his base. We first need to locate these hidden Republic walkers. And then destroy them with an airstrike, I believe. There are some Republic operatives in the area who will likely have the walkers' coordinates. So that is who we're going to be looking for right this moment. Um, hmm. We could possibly switch our speeder as well, but I'm not really thinking that far ahead. But we'll get ourselves out of the Imperial base. Some hostile wildlife here. And somewhere just ahead of us. There's the Bomber Command, the Imperial Base. Ah, yeah, here are the Republic Shadow operatives and their sniper support team. For the next. I'll be taking those walker coordinates off you, thank you very much.
Morgan coordinates. We'll leave our Sif sorcerer there to uh, mop up the rest of the shadow team. Let's go call in an airstrike, shall we? Bomber command post. I have the walker's coordinates. Darth Gravis wants them blown to pieces. Gladly. Imperial Bomber Command never disappoints. My lord, I'm transmitting the coordinates to my bombers now. They're ready to strike orders walkers at your command. Excellent. Hither now, Major. Pardon me, Lord Gravis. It's your apprentice. She's taken Imperial forces, launched her own attack against Commander Order. <laughs> Thank you, Captain. We'll deal with her. Thana's volatility is both a strength and a weakness. She'll destroy much, but she can't defeat Order alone. Things are looking up, then. Look on the bright side. The more Republic forces alerted to your strike, the more you can kill. You'll find Order's base in an old purification facility. Tear down his defenses and find my rogue apprentice. Only together can you slaughter the Republic's leader. Order's offensive will soon come to an end. This will be a historic victory for the Empire. End Order's life. And I'll add a special prize if you kill more soldiers than my wayward apprentice. I see. Orders walkers are toast. Another success for Imperial Bobber Command. Congratulations, Major. You get to keep your life for another day. Ordo's base is in the Tularan Mar. Another area here on Taris. I don't know why I was thinking Narshadar in my head. It's like, nope, don't say Narshadar. That's the incorrect answer. We have a heroic mission and an exploration mission here. The Jedi are close. They hide. Staining Taris with their corruption. Healing wounds best left raw. The Jedi will show themselves, and when they do, we will take the necessary action. They insult our heritage of ruin with every breath. We mustn't wait any longer. The Jedi lurk in the wilds, helping the scavengers rebuild and training the fools to resist us. Their volunteer militia has already spilled Imperial blood. They and their masters must learn a lesson. Execute the scavenger soldiers, and the Jedi will come to stop you. Then soak Taris with their blood. I'll make sure there are no survivors. Good. You understand what it takes. So few do. Serenade the Jedi with the screams of the innocent. When they emerge from hiding, leave no survivors. Let's just back away from the insane Sith Lord very slowly. Serenade the Jedi with the screams of the innocent. It's the people we're working for. You gave me a fright. I thought you were here for the environmental reports. Still, I'm glad you stopped by. The Republic's efforts to clean and recolonize Terrace are accelerating, but I found a way to stop them. I just need someone to release the dangerous toxins inside a crumbling mephitic ruin. Your accent. You don't sound Imperial. The Empire welcomed me when the Republic accused me of war crimes. But my past isn't important. Terrace's past is. Before the Empire bombarded Terrace, the Chemworks was a prosperous factory full of deadly chemicals. Those chemicals are still there. The Republic burned off most of the pollutants, but they missed the barrels of 357 trichloroheptane, a beautifully lethal poison. Do we know why the Republic missed them? 
The factory used to be a maze of secure storage depots. Without a proper inventory, it's understandable. Unfortunately, the Republic knows the Chemworks is central to Terrace's reclamation. They stationed a squad of commandos there. If you can force your way in and break open the chemical containers, the resulting corrosive fog will poison the soil for a century. Infiltration and sabotage are my stock and trade. If you succeed, you'll cripple the Republic's cleanup efforts. I wish you luck. The ruins of the Chemworks are located near the Republic's outposts. Move quickly. If the Republic figures out what chemicals we're looking for, they'll destroy them first. Okay. Open these various poison barrels. Sabotage the chemical circulation pumps. This heroic mission I've done quite a few times, actually. It is rather easy with an operative or a scoundrel. <laughs> right. So. I'm trying to think of what's the best order in which to do this. Let's get ourselves back over to the Toxic Lake Garrison. And from there, let us go deal with the Republic Commander. Since Dr. Kadera's lab is next to the other two objectives, we could always look into doing those on the way to looking into this Imperial Laboratory. But first things first, let's get ourselves over to the Tularan Marsh. There is another Imperial base of operations nearby. But we'll look into that situation uh, probably in the next part of the series. As no doubt there'll be more side missions, maybe even another heroic mission available to us. This mask is pretty good. Um, I've always been after a certain mask, and masks can make or break a playthrough sometimes, as when you wear one or wear a helmet, they adjust how your character speaks, as you've seen. This one only muffles the voice. Some give a more robotic tonation, Others just make your character sound ridiculous, and sometimes it's very, um... It breaks the immersion, shall we say. Yeah, so we have the border assault post here. But we're not, a, not heading that way just yet. Along this way... Here's the Republic base of operations. Hmm. The dark signs freeze. We are wary. Okay, so there's no bonus mission outside. Darth Gravis did mention some sort of prize if we defeated more than his apprentice.
Blast doors are sealed. There's now a ray shield as well. Ah. Looks like Fana's got herself into a bit of a pickle. What are you doing here? Order's mine. I am honored. The Empire is sending its best to hunt me down. The Republic will not fail here. Terrace will rise again. This planet's destined to be a monument of Republic failure. Confident words for someone clearly outnumbered. For the Republic! 3 to 1 is not great odds for you. We fight for you. We fight for the next. You can't destroy Terrace. The Republic's too strong. Oh, my head. Cheap trick order. If you don't kill him, I will. What is my prisoner? We'll drill him for intel on the Republic's defenses. You won't get a word out of me. Master Gravis will be displeased with your mercy. Violence isn't always the best solution. Keep telling yourself that. Come on, Order. Interrogation awaits. We're going to have a fun trip. Oh yeah, I just remembered. <clears throat> there was a choice earlier with uh, the Republic soldier. And you might be wondering why didn't we offer to trade the Republic soldier for Imperial prisoners of war. Because the prisoners of war, I don't think had ever been mentioned in a conversation. I mean, sure, we could have used an excuse to say intelligence knew that there were prisoners of war being held by the Republic, but because it hadn't been mentioned, well, we didn't know anything about it. So, um, yeah, unfortunate for the soldier, I suppose. Order's finished. I defeated him, then had Thana bring him in for questioning. He'd better prove he was full. Thana contacted me after your skirmish. She was eager to report the details of her blood bath. But despite her best efforts, you've killed more Republic soldiers. Such carnage deserves recognition. I had a good time. A good weapon and fresh Republic prey. The only ingredients for fun you'll ever need on Talus. With order dispatched, I can finally focus the Empire's might on demolishing this wretched planet. The Republic's making a stand in the old sewer system. We must crush their pathetic operation to proceed. Speak to Melkor Din at our outpost. Help him slay the sewer's mutated denizens and drive out the Republic. And watch out for Thana. I doubt she'll welcome seeing you. Yes, I'm sure. Okay. It's all looking very good. So, Melkor Din and dealing with some mutated denizens of Taris. And that is at the border assault post that we just passed by. Very well. 
Let's get ourselves over to the bomber command post once again. From there, let's do some serenading, as the Sith Lord called it. Dealing with the Terizian Militia Force. And then, of course, we have the poisoning of the chemworks to undo once again. So, where are the militia forces? So we need to locate a what commander now? And from there we have picked up a distress code call in the Jedi when we are in trouble, or when the militia are in trouble, really. Probably a good idea to clear out some of these soldiers first. We're being slaughtered. The song of the hunter begins. Ah, and so the Jedi have fallen. And just to be sure, we'll deal with this Jedi as well. That's the wrong button. Excellent. So now we need to head up and into the Chemworks factory. As I say, this this uh, blah, 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 heroic mission would be more difficult for characters who don't have a stealth field generator. But with patience, there's a lot of enemies you can bypass as a scoundrel or an operative because this is one of those uh, heroics I was doing to try and unlock a certain headpiece. So we do have the Republic Special Forces. Obviously they're guarding the main entrance here. There are two kind of offset routes you can take, paths down the Chemworks factory. I'm so used to going down this way that this is the way I'm going to be going. 
And obviously we have some uh, local wildlife. Now with patience. These are the barrels we need to uh, spill out. This is the circulation pump. I to overload my generator there. I had a feeling that um, we were about to be discovered. All ten barrels spilt. And if we head back this way, we can go back to the circulation pump we were playing with earlier. My sensors picked it up the moment you opened the containers. Well done. There we are. Heroic mission complete. Blast a rifle with critical over alacrity. How is our critical looking, actually? Our critical chance right now is only 21%. Hmm, that's not amazing. Our experience booster came to an end. Right, so now we may as well go check out Dr. Kadera's lab. See what our fellow Imperial agent was up to. Deal with the rat ghouls inside and see why the rogue Jedi may have also been interested in the lab itself. Before we go in... Another time, Agent. Can't live without me, huh? Indeed, that's exactly it. This is our first time really encountering the Rack Ghouls. Okay. 
These rat ghouls are considered swarmers. The more they are, the more damage they deal. Bonus to deal with savage rackwalls. Hmm. It's not one to kill this rackwall, and it's not us. also uh, been able to destroy our armor. Cleanse the armor debuff. That's good to know. I'll take the security chest. Thank you. Companion yeah. gift. Ooh, another stim. And some more crafting materials. if it's worth dealing with one more savage rack ghoul before we uh, proceed any further. Obviously, the positive side, we can say we're uh, certainly clearing out the uh, old lab to prevent the, uh, the burning out of this place. Upstairs. There you go.
even more dead rat ghouls. I've seen spice dens cleaner than this. Oh. You can lower your weapon. There are no rat ghouls in here. The late Private Rallon dispatched the last of them before succumbing. Cypher 9, Imperial Intelligence. You must be Dr. Lokin. Yes. Official designation, Fixer 15. How good to meet you. Watcher 4 assigned me here for a clean-up operation. I assume you're here for a similar reason? I can't give out details, Keeper's orders. Of course. But I'm sure we can work together. Follow me, and uh, mind the bodies. This laboratory belonged to a man named Nason Gadera. Utterly brilliant. Invented everything from durable plaster foam to the, the death mark laser. But his relationship with the Republic is... rocky. By the time we captured this sector, he was already gone. I came to catalogue the contents of his lab. And I wasn't the first. Go back to Nassan Godera. What happened to him? Back in Republic space. But the laboratory hasn't been empty. Watch. Is that the last of the defenses? Stay on your guard and destroy the monitors. Then find the device. They stole research, equipment, and something Nason Gadera called an ultra-wave transmitter. I haven't a clue what it does. I suggest we pool resources. A fixer and a cipher investigating a thieving Jedi for Imperial intelligence. If we can't trust each other, who can we trust? My thoughts exactly. This wasn't the only recent raid on a science facility. This planet attracts brilliance, and someone has been purloining databanks across the ruins. Based on the pattern, I, I suspect the Jedi's next target is an abandoned bio-research facility near a red-level Rakhgul colony. We can find it together. If you've got a plan, let's hear it. You should be able to locate the facility by triangulating its signal from the swamps. I'll correlate the data. You intercept the Jedi. So, you're hanging out here, with the corpses and the rackles. It is my burden. Here's the triangulation device. Give my regards to the toxic swamp. Kaleo doesn't trust Dr. Loken, being the only survivor of the, uh, Imperial team sent here. I recommend you move swiftly. And... Yeah, he's obviously been looking into the research of Dr. Gadera, but now he has been pulled into our operation. I wonder how Chance is going to feel about that if we tell him of Fixer 15, Dr. Logan's involvement. Level 67. So we need to now locate the next bio-research lab. Logan, I don't recall mentioned who ran the bio research lab. Perhaps it was a corporation here centuries ago before the bombardment. But he has mentioned that other similar ruins have been scavenged for information. So let's pull out of our map here. Right, okay. I wonder if we're going to be exploring the Tularin Marsh or the triangulation of the bio research facility is going to send us into the sinking city. I imagine it's going to be the latter. But we do have tasks to do in the Tularin Marsh. But now, let's get ourselves back to the Bomber Command Center. Report to the questionable Sith Lord. <clears throat> oh, 
that's right. Have you found the Jedi? I executed them. Excellent. You have performed well, Agent. Too many Imperials lack the stomach for victory. You are welcome. I suppose. See you. How may we assist? Welcome back, Vector. We are heading over to the border assault post. Travel route is confirmed. Since we weren't actually speaking to Chance at all in Dr. Gadera's lab, we didn't necessarily have to change or attire at all. But I suppose it was play it's better to play safe. Make sure no one questions our loyalties on either side, really. Here we are. So I believe we have Melkor Din to speak to in regards to a situation in the sewer system. But it also looks like we have maybe a heroic and a side quest available to us as well. Either way, we'll take a break here. Thank you all for joining me once again with even more Star Wars The Old Republic. As always, feel free to leave a comment if you so wish. And hopefully I'll see you for even more next time. Until then, no take care. Bye bye now.